So this is the amp cabinets uh, that were used for recording the Johnny Saskatchewan album, any excuse for a pit. And what's interesting is that you got two custom cabinets here. Um, actually, they're not custom. That's a standard 1960A cabinet, angled cabinet. Uh, and that is a Marshall clone. It's built with three quarter inch plywood, so it's heavy as hell. But the interesting thing is that these, uh, these cabs have different speakers in every position. So you've got eight unique speakers here between the two cabinets. And I don't know if this camera will focus, but these are the speakers you've got, if I can work that out there. So you got a vintage 30 in the top position. You've got a uh, Celestian uh, Heritage 65 speaker, one of the, one of the newer Heritage ones. Uh, you've got a uh, G75, standard G75 Marshall speaker in this position. You've got a standard greenback 25 watt speaker right there. And in the bottom cabinet, you've got an Eminence Governor right there. You've got a Celestian uh, Heritage greenback 20 watt speaker right there, a little bit more vintage. Uh, at the bottom, you've got a Swamp Thing, Eminence Swamp Thing right there for a little bit more modern sound. And then right at the bottom, you've got a cream back. And I believe that's the, uh, that's the cream back medium uh, size magnet right there. So M, what do you call it? M12 uh, cream back. Anyway, so each song was recorded with exactly the same amp settings. Uh, not that amp, okay? That amp was not used. That's just sitting there. <clears throat> but uh, same amp sound and everything, same settings, but through a different speaker, because these cabinets allow you to switch on and off individual speakers at your convenience. And uh, I used, for the entire guitar sound, just one SM57. In most cases, it was dead center right over the uh, dust cap. So, so head on, uh, no angle of incidence there. And uh, I did substitute for a couple of songs. I did substitute this mic, the Sennheiser uh, MD421, because that's another classic guitar mic. And it was basically a comparison test. So you can listen to each song on the album and see what coloration the actual speaker provides. And in this amp closet, you get practically no internal reflections whatsoever. So you're just hearing the actual speaker and you aren't even hearing the other three or the other seven speakers. You're just hearing the one. So that provides a really good indication of the actual sound of the speaker. And that's the only variable that changes between songs. So it's a bit of a guitar experiment. So there you go. I will talk about the amp and uh, other pieces of equipment on other videos. Thanks for watching.